Raise your right hand for me. You solemnly swear or Okay, there's a rule in effect, okay, that says that you can't be in court unless you're testifying. And once you have testified, don't tell anybody else what you what you testified to except the lawyers, okay? Yes. Okay. I want you to tell me your first and last name and spell it for my court reporter, please. My name is Zion Carr. Z-I-O-N-C-A-R-R. Mr. Smith. Zion, could you say your name again just a little bit louder? Zion Carr. Okay. Uh, you want to approach the witness, Ron? Absolutely. Zion, how old are you? Eleven. And do you do you remember your birthday? July twenty fifth, two thousand eleven. July twenty fifth, two thousand eleven. Uh, what's your mom's name? Amber. And does your mom have any sisters? She got two. And what are what are your mom's sisters' names? Ashley and Tatiana. And does your mom have any brothers? She got one, and his name is Adarius. I bet you that microphone is going to pick up what you're saying, so you don't have to <laughs> lean over. But thank you for trying. <laughs> um, Zion, do you know the difference between a truth and a lie? Yes, sir. So, if I was to tell you, I'm holding up a marker. If, what color is this marker? Red. And let the record reflect, I'm show, holding up a red marker. If I was to tell you this marker was blue, would that be a truth or a lie? Lie. Is it good to tell a lie? Yes, sir. What happens when people tell lies? They can be, get in big trouble. You get in big trouble for telling a lie. So, can you promise me that everything we're going to talk about today will be true things? Yes, sir. Thank you, Zion. Uh, Zion, what's your favorite sport? Basketball. And who's your favorite basketball team? The Grizzlies or the Lakers. Who's your favorite basketball player? John Moran. I'm sorry? John Morant. John Morant? Why, why do you like him the most? Because he he's a new player, but he act like he's not. He got good confidence, too. Good confidence to go out there and play hard? Yes, sir. Uh, what grade are you in right now? Six. You like school? Yes, sir. What do you like about school? My teachers. And what do you like most about your teachers? They treat me well, and they... Show me how to do problems if I don't know how to do it. Do you have a favorite subject in school? Math. Why do you like math so much? Because I like doing multiplication and division. What do you want to be when you grow up? An NBA player. <laughs> do you have a backup plan in case you're not an NBA player? A scientist. Oh, a scientist. That's a great job. Well, Zion... I want to talk to you this morning about uh, your aunt Tatiana. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Wait, what did you call your aunt Tatiana? Did you have a special name for her? Aunt Tay. Aunt Tay. And did you used to live with Aunt Tay? Yes. And when did you live with Aunt Tay? When she moved down with my granny. And does your granny have a different name? Her name is Yolanda. Yolanda. Is, is your granny still here with us? No, ma'am. No, sir. And, and when did she die? Do you remember? Three months after my auntie died. Three months after your aunt Tay? Yes, sir. And so where were you? Do you remember the name of the street that you lived at with your granny and your aunt Tay? East Allen, I think. East Allen? Yes, sir. And why were you living there with your granny? Because my mama wasn't doing good yet, so I had to live with my granny. Was your mom sick? Yeah. And so, who else lived with there? Lived with you and your granny on East <clears throat> Allen Avenue? Just me and my auntie, my granny. 
Did you like living with your grandmother and your auntie? Yes, sir. What did you like about it? Uh, I like how my auntie always played games and my granny um, take care of me. What kind of games did your auntie play? Apex Legends or Rim Royale. <laughs> Apex Legends or Rim Royale. Oh, Rim Royale. Um, what kind of games are those? Are those card games? It's shooting games. And what are they like video games? Yes, sir. Did you get to play with her? Yes, sir. Did you do you like playing video games? Yes, sir. Uh, did Ante also show you how to do different things like mow the front yard? Yes, sir. And how to do different chores? Yes, sir. What other chores did she teach you to do? It's not a chore, but she taught me how to make hamburger patties. How do you make hamburger patties? You take them out the freezer, put them on a pan, or put them in a, um, put them in an oven, or uh, get a pan and put them on there and put it on the stove and just let it sit and then flip it. And what do you do after you you flip it? When it's done, I put it on some um, hamburger buns, put ketchup, lettuce, and pickles, and eat it. Okay, now let me get this straight. What do you put on a hamburger again? Ketchup, pickles, and lettuce. And that's your favorite way? Yes, sir. No mustard? You shake your head no? Oh, no, sir. And uh, no onions? No onions. Okay. Well, that was nice of her to teach you how to do that. Yeah. Um, what other things did you used to do with Aunt Pet? We used to go to the park all the time. What would y'all do at the park? Sometimes we would play tag or hide and seek or just um, walk around in uh, the little park area. Did you love your Aunt Tay? Yes, sir. You miss her? Yes, sir. So I want to go back to the night that something happened to Aunt Tay. Is that okay if we talk about that? Yes, sir. So before you were in the bedroom with her, with Aunt Tay, what were you doing? What were y'all doing together? Playing video games. Before then even, did y'all cook hamburgers that night? Yes, sir. Who cooked the hamburgers? Me. All right. Did you cook them just like you told us earlier? Yes, sir. But I burnt them. You burned them? How'd you know you burned them? Because we were just playing games. Then we just heard the alarm going off. Then we opened it. A whole bunch of smoke came out of the oven. And, and were you cooking these in the kitchen? Yes, sir. So, what'd you do after all the smoke came from burning the hamburger? We opened up the um, screen door and let the um, smoke go out, and we was just getting paper and going like that, so the alarms could stop, and after, when it was done, we went back playing our video games. Okay, I saw you made a motion with your hand while you were talking. I'm going to kind of explain what you did so the court reporter can type it up, and you tell me if I'm wrong, okay? Yes, sir. Okay, so were you waving your hand in a back and forth motion in front of your face? Yes, sir. And were you doing that to, to show how you were waving the smoke out of the house? Yes, sir. Okay. So, did you eat those hamburgers? Huh? Did you eat them? Yes. No, it was burnt. Only one of them survived. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what'd you do with the burnt ones? I threw it in the trash. And what'd you do with the one that survived? I ate it. And what'd you put on it? Ketchup, pickles, and mustard. I mean, lettuce. <laughs> was it a good hamburger? It was. What'd you do after you ate that hamburger? I went to my auntie's bed and played on my Nintendo Switch. What's a Nintendo Switch? If, if I've never heard of it before, how would you explain it to me? It's like a video game. It's a screen, and it got like two controllers on the side of it. Is it, is it the type of video game you play on a TV screen, or is it something you hold in your hand and the screen's in your hand? Both. Oh, you can take the, what's on your screen in your hand and put that on the TV? Yes, sir, you could take off the controllers in. Like, when you buy it, there's like a kit where you can plug the HDMI in it and take off the controllers and put the screen on it, then you'll see it on the TV. Were you playing it on the TV or in your hand after you ate that hamburger? In my hand. And... What was your Aunt Tay doing? She was playing video games with her friends. Okay. 
When, you, when she playing video games on a handheld device or on the TV? On the TV. Do you remember what type of gaming system it was? A PS4. And when you say she was playing with her friends, were her friends in that bedroom with y'all? No, sir. Where were they? They was in another house, but she added them to a party so they could talk to each other. How was she talking to them? On a mic. And was she hearing what they were saying? Yes, sir. And what game was she playing? Ring Royale. Ring Royale. Yes, sir. So, did you end up falling asleep that night? On no, the bed? Sir. No, sir. What What room were you in while you were playing your Nintendo Switch with your Aunt Tay? Uh, Aunt Tay's room. Aunt Tay's room. Were you on the bed, on the floor, or, or something different? On the bed. And do you remember what you were wearing? On the underwears. Were you under the covers or over the covers? Under the covers. Was it a little cold? No. No? It was good underneath the covers? Yes, sir. Was... How long did Aunt Tay play video games that night? Like an hour or 30 minutes. Did you ever go to sleep at all? No, sir. Not before she heard a noise, you didn't fall asleep just for a little bit? No, sir. All right, so... Did your aunt Tay hear noise outside the bedroom? Yes, sir. What were you doing when your aunt Tay heard that noise? I was still playing on my Nintendo Switch. How did you know your aunt Tay heard a noise? Because she told me did you hear it, and I said no. Was the lights on? Were the lights on in that bedroom? Yes, sir. And what did it, after she told you she heard a noise? What did she do? She went to get her weapon out of her purse. Where was her purse? Uh, next to her table where she worked at. Before she heard that noise outside, where was your aunt Tay sitting? Was she at that desk? Uh, no, she was in the middle of the room with her, like, she had her chair in the middle of the room playing on the game. And so you said she went to her purse and grabbed out a weapon. <coughs> what do you mean by weapons, Ion? A gun. <coughs> was it a big long gun or a gun that you could hold in your hand? A gun you could hold in your hand. And did you see her go to her purse and get that gun? Yes, sir. And what did what did she do after she grabbed she took the gun out of her purse? She just held it to her side. She just like she didn't point it up. She just kept it next to her, like on her side. And where did she go with that with the uh, after she picked up the gun? She was about to start walking to the window. Okay. And when she walked to the window, what did she do? Uh, I didn't hear nothing after that. I just seen her fell on the floor. Okay, I'm going to go back just a little bit. Do you remember that night, after all this was over with, going to talk to a, to a lady at a special place in a little bitty room? Yes, sir. We talked about this before. Her name was Linda Dula, and you talked about what happened? Like when it took me? Yes. Oh, yes, sir. And you went and talked to that lady and told her everything about what happened, right? Yes, sir. Um... Did you see, whenever your Aunt Tay walked towards the window with the gun, did you see her kind of pull the gun up just a little bit away from her side? No, sir. Now, when we talked before, you said that she did kind of pull the gun up a little bit. Do you remember that? No, sir. It's okay if you remember it. If you, I mean, I just want you to remember it exactly the way you do. Do you remember if she had the gun up or down? Down. Now, are you sure she didn't have it up at all? Oh, sir. Okay. And how close did Aunt Tay get to the window? I can't, uh, I don't know how to, like, say how far she was. Like, I say, like, she was, like, three feet away. Okay. She got pretty close to the window? Yes, sir. Was she saying anything to you as she got closer to the window? No, sir. What did you... What did... Uh, did you hear anything as she got closer to the window? No, sir. Did you see something that happened? I seen her fell on the ground. Did you see what was... Did you see anything outside the window? No, sir. You didn't see a man with a badge? No, sir. Did you hear anything before she fell to the ground? No, sir. 
What happened after she fell to the ground? She started crying, and then after that, two police officers came and got me. Did you know what had happened at that point? No, sir. Did you know if your aunt Tay was hurt? Yes, sir. What were you thinking? I was thinking, is it a dream? How did you think she was hurt? Because she was crying and just shaking. What happened when the, the two police men came into the bedroom? They seen me and they took they told me to get up and they took me to the back of a police car. Did one police officer take you or both of them? Both of them. Both of them? Are you sure it wasn't just the woman police officer? No, sir. Like the man, he walked a little bit, but then the lady told him like to go check on her. Like when we got halfway, like right there by the kitchen, so he did. Oh, she told the man to go check on her. She go check on my auntie to see if she was still alive, and he said okay. Did you know if your auntie was still alive at that point? <clears throat> yes, sir. Um, where did that uh, woman officer take you? To the back of a police officer. I mean, she took me to back to a police, a back of a police car. And when she took you to the back of the police car, what were you wearing? Only underwear. Were you cold? Yes, sir. Were you scared? Yes, sir. Why were you scared? Because I see my auntie crying, so I thought it had to be something serious. Did you know what those police were doing? No, sir. And how, do you remember how long you sat in that car? About like five minutes, waiting for an officer to come. Wherever they would go take me. Did another officer show up that you hadn't seen before? Yes, sir. He was different than the two that were that came in the house, right? Yes, sir. And what did that officer do with you? He was the owner of the police car, so he gave me, like, a big shirt to put on. And then after that, I fell asleep. Was that officer very nice to you? Yes, sir. Do you remember his name? No, sir. He never told me his name. But he was really nice? Yes, sir. And how long, what happened after you fell asleep? I fell asleep and then I woke, he woke me up and I was at like a little daycare or foster care. Oh, the place where the, where the woman talked to you? Yes, yes sir. And was that, was that woman really nice to you? Yes sir. And she just explained that she had to ask you some questions about what happened, is that right? Yes sir. When did you find out about what happened to your Aunt Tay? After a couple of days, when I stayed with my mama, when she came and got me from the place. And what did you find out had happened? I seen she died, so when I seen she died, I went to my mama and asked her, is that true? Did you find out it was true? Yes, sir. How'd that make you feel? I was very upset. Were you upset that night? I was, it happen? I really, I wasn't upset. I was confused because I didn't know if, when I was like, if it was a dream and if I wasn't waking up still. Did you hear anyone get shot that night? No, sir. Why don't you think you heard anything? I probably don't just remember it, but I think I don't hear, didn't hear nothing. Did you hear the policeman say anything outside the window? No, oh, sir. I don't remember. Do you remember him? Do you remember seeing him at all outside the window? No, oh, sir. <clears throat> the house that you lived at with your granny and your aunt today, uh, how many front doors did it have? Had two. And which of those front doors did y'all normally use? The side one. The one where we, um, the car was next to. The, the side door that the cars were next to, is that right? Yes, sir. And the other door points out to the street, right? Yes, sir. Did y'all ever use that one? Sometimes if we order something to eat. And those doors, did y'all normally keep the doors closed? Yes, sir. 
Now, because those hamburgers were burning, what'd you do with those doors? What'd you and Aunt Tay do with those doors that night? So the front, we forgot the front door was open, and the screen door was still kind of open when I opened the window off it. So y'all kind of open up the doors to let the smoke out? Yes, sir. But those glass screen doors were still kind of shut, is that right? Yes, sir. You, those were open too? We'll pass the witness, Your Honor. All right, we've been going a while. I want to take our mid-morning break, okay? You stay right here. Thank you.